We're here at the very first Trans Pride March in Dublin and we'll be talking to people about why this march is so important and why feet on the streets really matter to trans people in Ireland. I think today is a very, very important day just to highlight all the issues that trans people are facing. Today is more of a march than a pride. Of course, we have to be proud of ourselves as trans people because we face a lot, but it's, you know, there's no industries here capitalising off of what we go through and it's very much a very radical presence today in Dublin. And do you think there's a strong need to do this as well as uh, the kind of normal pride parade? Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, this is how you tackle issues head on. This is how you get people involved. And that's really, really going to change the lives of trans people in Ireland. Sean, tell me why this march today is so important. Um, well, it's important for me, I think, after, particularly after coming off the main Dublin Pride, which, you know, it's an important event, but you can't help feel as well that it's really seen by many as an advertising opportunity by big corporations um, some that would have kind of questionable histories like Sky TV, parts of the Rupert Murdoch Empire, they were never exactly friends of the LGBT community, I felt that was real, there was really a corporate takeover and this trans pride has happened today is, is you know, it's a grassroots movement and I think it, it harks back to the days of where pride started from, from the Stonewall riots where trans people um, resisted um, police oppression and I think that, that we have to remind people that that's where Pride started that was grassroots, that it was radical, trans people were at the heart of it and that you know it was very much people standing up and fighting back against oppression and I think we need that today I think we you know, we've, although we've had a lot of gains over the last 20-30 um, years trans people in particular I think have um, a lot to win still um, in terms of access to healthcare and I think that those type of things are not going to be won um, by a Google, LinkedIn dominated sort of corporate advertising fest. It's going to be won by grassroots activism, by people standing up and fighting back and getting involved in mass action and protest. I think that's really the only way that materially life is actually going to get better for LGBT people and all people I think. It's a really important day obviously uh, the pride that was on a few weeks ago was huge and it was it's really great to come together as a huge uh, community but it was a lot of us felt it was quite corporate and trans pride we are while we are part of the LGBT community there's a lot of our own issues that we have to deal with and it's nice to come together in solidarity and kind of celebrate our differences and encourage, encourage progress and to encourage um, community. And what are the particular issues that you face as trans people? Um, there's still not that much acceptance. It's um, and a massive one for a lot of people is healthcare. There's waiting lists of about two years, and then you have there's still psychiatric uh, diagnosis, and a lot of us would prefer the um, the informed consent because you know we we know who we are. We don't need to be talked down to and we understand our own issues better than most of the medical community to be honest. Um, I think the main reason that I came was because of what happened in London at London Pride um, when the groups took over and um, basically where the turf groups took over so I'm just here to show my solidarity for the trans community. Could you just tell me why you decided to come out and support the march here today? Um, well basically because like trans people are you know as a group within the LGBT community probably they're the most like at risk of violence then I think they need the rest of our support like I think it's so important because they have these people were left out when the gender recognition bill came in you know like I started tenny up 14 years ago with the intention that all identities within transgender would be brought into into it like you know and I'm very disappointed that that has been backtracked on by the government and various agencies so I think this is needed it's very important like you know I did get some flack over when I first came out that I was supporting this from other organisations you know we're in the gay community and individuals but I pointed out to them why it was needed like you know because you, you cannot stop until all of these are equal in their identity and that's why I'm supporting this today and as long as I have legs I'll keep doing it and if I don't have legs you can wheel me around <laughs> when they see that LGBT plus flag on the phone somewhere